surge in COVID-19 cases leading to a heavier focus on prevention. Good morning, everyone. I'm Akash Lapinder, and this is your morning edition. And just like that, the Bahamas picked up another four COVID-19 cases, pushing the total as of 5 p.m. Thursday evening to nine. The four most recent cases all here in New Providence. Still, with the discharge of the initial patients, some have raised concerns over whether the virus would pop up a second time around. Others in Grand Bahama have gone as far as to protest outside the West End Clinic being used to treat patients. The heightened fear factor has led to Health Minister the Honorable Dr. Dwayne Sands calling for more empathy. Those persons who have been unfortunate enough to be stricken with COVID-19 infection could be your mother, your father, your grandmother, or your child. And while fear is certainly the order of the day. Education and empathy. Uh, the, one of the purposes of these sessions is to educate and to inform. This virus does not jump through walls. It does not uh, come out of the sky. It is as a consequence of social interaction. And I think that message needs to be very, very clear. Now, at this point, officials could not say if the emergency order activating a 24-hour lockdown would be extended. Meantime, with the new cases now confirming community transmission here in the capital, officials plan to increase the surveillance unit's efforts to determine exposure. Consultant with the Minister of Health, Ministry of Health, rather, Dr. Merceline Dow Regis says there is, however, concern about the Grand Bahama case. We don't have a full count. But the majority, we are told that the majority of the contacts identified uh, have been identified. We recognize that there is an establishment that you referred to that's very concerned and anxious about um, the exposure. We know, we can anticipate that at least on an average, if you have four cases, the minimum would be 200 contacts. So given the capacity uh, issues. We have uh, included in the contact tracing temperature monitoring, and uh, we've also included in the contact tracing referrals to uh, a very senior medical team who would monitor the health condition um, of the contacts. 